I've gathered some of my old photographs together and I've put together a PowerPoint presentation to show uh, some resistant materials projects that have been produced by my classes over the last uh, well, 20 years plus. Now these are all woodwork projects. I haven't included metalwork or plastic projects. I'll probably do that on a separate presentation. So if we start off, this is a, a, a beautiful mahogany occasional table that was uh, made by a, a pupil in my very first resistant materials class. Uh, ironically, it's probably one of the best projects um, that I've ever had. Absolutely beautifully produced um, dovetail housings. Uh, there's a, a walnut edging around the top, which was actually cut out from a, a solid piece of walnut. So uh, the amount of walnut that he had to buy in for that edging was actually quite substantial. Uh, all the legs were turned on the lathe. Um, he, uh, he did those absolutely beautifully and they're all very, very similar. Here's a collection of some more tables, uh, smaller tables, a couple of cherry tables uh, and an Oroco table. You'll, you'll, you'll see there's quite a lot of projects actually made from Oroco. Uh, when I started at, at Courtmore School we had lots of Oroco in the store. Not a particularly nice timber to work with, uh, very much like teak, but the dust is uh, really not very good for you. And if you breathe it in, it makes you gag. So um, I don't use a rope anymore. Some bigger tables. These ones have got uh, rails around the bottom. Tables with uh, different styles. Lots of tables. The one on the right there is, uh, is softwood and hardwood together. Um, not particularly good practice to, to mix softwood and hardwoods, uh, but that one had quite a quite a nice effect. Piano stool with uh, a bit of upholstery. That was quite nice. Uh, sycamore table. Um, the legs were produced by um, using cross halving joints. And uh, the pupil bought some some, some decorative moulding and, and beadings to go around the top just to add a bit of uh, flair to the project. This was a trolley. Didn't come out too well in the photo actually. It was a lot better in real life. And um, you can see we've got some uh, some tiles on there. Made quite a few oak planters. Uh, these are lovely projects, actually. Um, the panels you can see are all uh, slotted in loosely so that the um, the planter won't split with uh, expansion and contraction of the wood. Hardwood shoe rack again with a, a tiled bottom. Mahogany flip-up table. That was a, a lovely project with a one central termed stem, stem with, uh, with with four legs. A couple of telephone tables. One made of oak with some upholstery, and the one on the right there is uh, is actually softwood with with a ply a ply shelves, but it's it's stained. Chessboard with the uh, dovetail drawer produced very nicely. This was probably one of my favourite <laughs> projects actually. Um, oak's definitely my favourite material. I think it looks just beautiful, but it's quite often a hard material to work in. There's no give in it whatsoever, so your joints have to be absolutely perfect. Um, but this oak was absolutely lovely to work with. Um, I think, uh, if I remember rightly, I think the lad said it was French oak. Um, but really lovely to work uh, based upon a, a sort of a nest of tables design with glass tops. Very simple design but just really elegant. A lovely project I think. Okay, moving on to some cabinets. Various styles, different types of doors, different materials. MDF 
cabinet at the top. Not keen on using MDF. Um, it's okay if you want to paint and you want a nice flat surface, and it's quite stable, but it's it's not particularly nice to work with. You certainly can't do um, any joints with it. Softwood cabinet with a, a blue stain. Another MDF cabinet with, with glass sliding doors. This was a nice project. Um, mahogany, dovetailed, um, nice little details like the, the little lock and catch that have been put in. Um, the doors have been hung properly with hinges, with knuckle hinges. Uh, just a really nice project now. Children's novelty furniture then. Have a bit of fun here. Really simple Barney Rubble bench. That was MDF. Seesaw again a very simple project but just really effective. Made a few chairs. Uh, these are nice. That's the back of it. We actually made four of these. Uh, or the pupils made four of these for for local junior school for their library. Softwood hinged flip up lid. This is a, a small child's desk, and there's a cork cork surface on the top there for writing on. And inside that Pinocchio is actually a, a, a puzzle that can be pulled out. Jukebox, probably one of the biggest projects that uh, any of my pupils have made. There's a panel at the front uh, where the rock and roll sign is that uh, that opens up and there's a CD player inside. Doll's House, it's inside the Doll's House. Again an MDF box, an Ottoman type box. Uh, this was designed for, for children's toys. Quite a nice finish on that. Moving on to boxes. Mainly carcass construction. A coopered box made out of mahogany. Nice finish. With uh, red Babylon lines inside. We had quite a lot of uh, sycamore that we got and uh, a lot of the tables earlier on were made from sycamore but we've, uh, we've had a few snooker cases and this this one in particular was quite nice again uh, Fablon lines with, uh, with foam a bit of electronics in this one as well this was a, a metronome very clever design you actually turn the whole thing and it would adjust the frequency of the the ticking of the, of the metronome, um, but we've got compound mitre joints here. So the person that made this um, put together some quite sophisticated jigs in order to uh, to get these joints absolutely perfect. Simple box with some uh, some some mitre feathering there, just to add a bit of interest and a bit of strength to the mitres. Okay, we've got an oak box here with, uh, you can see across the top here, where we've got uh, some, a symmetrical grain pattern here where the, um, where the plank of wood has actually been book matched. So it's been cut in half and then opened up like a book so that the, uh, the two halves are, are symmetrical to one another. That's the inside of it. Record box. Um, MDF, but painted with a with a roller that was uh, scored to create a grain effect, which is quite nice. Dovetailed uh, mahogany guitar case, weighed an absolute ton. I just struggled to uh, to carry it with a guitar in, I have to say, but it looked nice. It's with the guitar inside. 
I have to say this is one that I made uh, myself. I was given some uh, some walnut, some lovely walnut by a, by a colleague and um, I wanted to do something nice with it so I, I just about managed to get enough material out of the, the bits that he gave me to make this, uh, this walnut box. Uh, I gave this away as a, a Christmas present for my uncle actually. It's inside. A mirror light with um, opal acrylic around the end, around the uh, outside, so that it sort of glows. I should have taken a photograph with it on. Actually, it looked quite good when it was on. A few odd sort of projects: tissue box at the top, CD rack, um, jewelry box, lap writing desk. Quite an unusual project. Inlaid with green leather, really nice finish actually. Copper clocks with uh, some uh, veneering on those. I went through a phase in the in the uh, late 90s of, of wood turning, and um, consequently, a lot of pupils uh, did some turning, and uh, we got lots of lamps. This was a lovely project. I mean, I think that uh, being a D and T teacher has got to be the best, best job in the world. But every once in a while, you get a pupil that comes along that's just as passionate about D D and T as I am. Uh, this pupil was was just really, really motivated. Um, quite a difficult project. You've got lots of compound angles. Um, and I reckon 60 to 70% of uh, producing this project was actually making up jigs and fixtures to, to, to make sure that this thing went together with all the right angles and was actually symmetrical. Really nice project. Check it top. Chinese lantern. Again, that looked quite nice when it was all lit up. Another desk and a folding chair. Milking stool. Why does a milking stool have three legs? Do you know? Yeah, because the cow's got the udder. Guitars. Um, I feel quite passionate about music. I do try and play the guitar. I've been trying to play the guitar for about 30 years now and uh, I feel quite cheated because although I feel passionate about music, I'm actually uh, musically mute when it comes to playing. Um, but I do love the, the challenge of, of helping people make electric guitars because there's lots and lots of problems to solve. This was a nice example of a bass guitar that people made. Uh, played really well. This one hasn't got the strings on, but we did string it later on. A lot of pupils, when they make guitars, they buy a donor guitar to take off all the, the hardware, um, which is okay, but sometimes if you, if you get a donor guitar, the hardware is normally pretty rubbish. Um, so you make this lovely guitar and end up putting on hardware that's not particularly very good. But this one, the, the pupil bought in some, some Floyd Rose hardware uh, and put it on. Very nice, uh, nice outcome. Some more guitars there. Bass guitar at the top. It's very, um, as I said, that the challenges of making guitar are, are really, really good. I mean, you've got uh, you've got something called uh, intonation, which is the distance between the uh, the bridge and the nut, which has to be spot on. If it's not, you don't get the right notes, the right frets. You've also got uh, the action, which is the distance between the string and the fretboard. So you have to get so many things absolutely spot on on making electric guitars. The bass guitar. Notice the, the one piece of mahogany that goes all the way up right to the top. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed looking at those.